Huh. April 2005, bright day in Toulouse. 40,000 people around the fences of the airport to see this. Quite an event for us. The first flight uh, of the A380. Flight test engineer Fernando Alonso knows how dangerous this moment can be. When you fly an airplane for the first time, things can go wrong. There's no time to think what to do when you're up in the air. So you better have thought about what you're going to be doing before you actually take off. At 10.29 AM, under a cloudless sky, the A380 accelerates down the runway. The huge machine lifts effortlessly into the sky. Before you got a chunk of carbon, uh, aluminum, and sitting on the ground, and then suddenly when she flies, I mean, she's alive. It flew incredibly well. Uh, it flew beautifully from, uh, I would say, from one minute after the liftoff. We had imagined this moment for years and years and years. And suddenly, it happens. A uh, wonderful day that I will remember all my life. After four trouble-free hours, the A380 touches down and enters the record books as the heaviest flight in commercial aviation history. Over the next 19 months, the plane undergoes 2,500 hours of flight tests. These are an essential part of aircraft certification. But for the A380, they also serve another purpose. Convincing the public that flying on such a huge plane is safe. There was a public perception of, isn't it going to be dangerous, all those many people on the airplane? And yes, this airplane was big, but it was just another airplane. And it had to be handled and could be operated like any other airplane. It just happened to be bigger, that's all. Test pilots push the A380 to its limits. We went to very hot climates, we went to very cold climates. Uh, we brought the airplane to its structural limits. We brought the airplane to our aerodynamic limits. In one test, in order to identify the minimum takeoff speed, pilots deliberately drag the tail along the runway. A380 passes every test with flying colors.